Wami shoots a three. Whoa! Sa una lang daw magaling yung Magnolia. From superhuman performances to the finalists playing their first games after a month long layoff. This week in the PBA is nothing short of amazing. This is the weekly recap from March 13 to 17. Let's go. Wednesday, the undefeated Blackwater Bossing with a 3-0 record faced the NLEX Road Warriors who are rolling to start a conference clash in their first game of the week. Ray Swert is showing us that he is one of the emerging guards to watch out for in the PBA. Warriors doing their damage. Suerte turning the corner. What a move by Suerte! The Warriors, Suerte pushing it. Side steps, hangs in the air, backs it home! Dominic Fajardo, on the other hand, continues to be the Cinderella of this year. From being the security guard to making a PBA roster with the NLEX Road Warriors to being a key contributor in getting wins in the All-Filipino Cup. This is a story worth following for all basketball fans to never give up on your dreams. It was a tight one till the last minute, but whenever it's the end game, it belongs to this man, a generational talent named Robert Bollet. Against Ginto, he'll step back here. Oh, shoots a three. That's in line. Oh, that is good. Look at that. This time against Escoto, shoots another one. Bollet, oh. one more time. Robert Bollick! Cold for Robert Bollick. NLEX gives Blackwater their first loss of the season and solidifies their spot with the second seed. Talaga yung nagpanalo sa amin si Dominic eh. Ganda lang ni Dom. Abe 14 points. Ganda nang ginagawa niya sa amin, grabe. Without Tyler, Tio for the whole season, the Phoenix Field Masters continued their season this time against the Terra Firma Jeep, who in a way have been exceeding expectations early on in this season. Without Stephen Hot, Javi GDL, and Wami Chongson did the heavy lifting for the Jeep. While for Phoenix, one of their guards in R.R. Garcia decided to turn back the clock and gave a throwback Up performance. The help a little too late from K. Mark Carino. Towing off the hops. And here's R.R. Nice pass here by R.R. Matthew Thay. Although in the fourth, the LPG Fuel Masters relied on Ken Toffin and J.V. Mokon to ultimately break away from the pesky Jeep. 94-78 is the final tally in favor of Phoenix. They get win number one. Friday, we got the defending champs in the building playing their first game against the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters who do not have Keith Dutt who's trained his MCL. Simula pa lang, it's Leonard Santillan who has been scoring in bunches for the Elasto Painters. 31 big points. Same for Jonard Clarito who has been helping out in the points department kasi hindi maganda nilalaro ng rookie nila na si Adrian Nokum and young veteran na si Andre Karakut. In the end though, the SMB Beermen flexed their depth. With Marshall Lasseter making it rain from three, Jericho Cruz is still the super scorer that he is, while Jude Marfajardo, Terence Romeo, and Don Trolliano combining for 44 points off the bench. It's a trip to Paris in Spain for vacation. And Terence oh. Romeo behind the back to Jericho Cruz. Para sa akin, sila pa favorites to win the championship for this year's Philippine Cup. Next up, we got Barangay Hinebra and the Meralco Bolts who are struggling at the start of the Philippine Cup. But this is a different Meralco that we're seeing right now in this game. Pankero. And Pankero delivers. Open shot, Mendoza. Bang! He did, he did that in the first quarter. They had a blistering start and only limited Hinebra to just 27 points at the half. Alain Maliksi was waxing hot all throughout the game and garnered 25 points along with a 4 of 7 shooting clip from 3 point line. Chris Newsom, Aaron Black also bounced back in the big way from their previous games and just made life even tougher for the Gin Kings. For Hinebra, it was an embarrassment all throughout as they didn't look like a contender at all and sometimes looked like they weren't even interested in playing basketball that night. The Bolt shocked GSM with a score of 91 to 73. Saturday featured the return of the PBA in the Rizal Memorial Coliseum, the first time since the 1980s. Terra Firma and Blackwater are looking like the two most surprising teams in the Philippine Cup right now considering how competitive they have been so far. And as always, Troy Rosario making it rain from deep for the bossing has been a normal sighting this All-Filipino Cup. The first half definitely belonged to the bossing, but the second half was a completely different story. And when it comes to magic on the court, you can bet that Huami Chongson will always be ready to give the crowd a show whenever he plays. Chongson. Nice crossover by Huami and finish! You know, he's not just a shooter, he is now a pure scorer. Huami shoots a three! Whoa! Huami with the lead! 
as Swami Chongson seals the deal for the Terra Firma G. The Jeep escaped the bossing and get back in the winning column with a 93-92 victory. Last game for this day, we welcome back one of the PBA finalists in the Magnolia Hotshots. And in this game against Converge, they definitely made it a point that they are looking back to make it in the PBA Finals once more. As their defense set the tone of what kind of evening this will be for Converge. It was hard to choose who the face of Magnolia was in this game, but we have to give it to Gio Halalon. The man had 14.7 assists and 5 steals, making life tough for the guards of the Fiber Xers till the final buzzer. I was able to watch. I think uh, Gio Halalon scoring there. Yeah, I was able to watch and I remember. Regarding the intro boys comment that a lot of people called the hot shots, Coach Chito Victorero has this to say in the press con. Yeah, short of a championship kayo last conference and because of that, may mga nagko-comment na intro boys sa una lang daw magaling yung Magnolia. Ang mayon kami mga ibang motivation, hindi na namin kailangan yung mga ganung uh, classing uh, issues. Yung gusto yung ano yung gusto nila, respeto lang natin. Sunday, the 0-4 Rain or Shine Lasso Painters going up against a Phoenix Fuel Masters team without their two best players in Jason Perkins and Tyler Tio. Knowing that, Richie Rivero was the one doing the heavy lifting for the Fuel Masters with more than this. five minutes of rest. Especially with opportunities like them, it's about the three-point opportunities. Now Richie, look at this. It's a lot of highlight moves and penalties. After scoring only 3 points in their previous game against SMB, Adrian Nohom is out to prove that he can bounce back ASAP and have a good game that will catch Phoenix by surprise. You know, you know Adrian Nohom is really challenged when he sees Richie Rivera partner. He ends the evening with 28 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 5 3-pointers looking like an established star already in the PBA. Big Bo Belga and Jonathan Clarito also helped out in the scoring column as they ultimately pulled away from the pesky Fuel Masters with a score of 100 to 85. The main event for the Sunday doubleheader is the undefeated San Miguel Beermen against the TNT Tropangiga. Na simula pala ng laro na to, SMB wanted to make a statement and be the first one to strike. And CISO, just as he said that, he says you can get it going once again. But the championship pedigree of TNT will not allow them to fade into the night. Wow, well, that's a turnover against SMB. Jason looking at his options. What a pass as Oktana scores on the layup. People think that guards are not. Julmar Fajardo, though, proving why he's arguably the PBA GOAT and continues to terrorize his defenders all game long. They know. Candy, baby, Fajardo. Against all contact, uh, gets it to drop. Uh, that harm and still. Both teams traded punches all night, making it one heck of an entertaining evening nice. before the PBA takes a break for the Holy Week. Castro, who spots the Ultimately, the beer man was able to get one last stop, and it's San Miguel that got the last laugh as they won 91 to 89. See you all in the next video, guys. Peace.